Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 23 of our C Sharp for Automation Testing video series. And in this video, we're talking about delegates and this is all about delegates where we can start with the basics of the delegate. Not a lot of advanced concept like multicast delegates and passing delegate as a parameter to end method, something like that. But we're gonna really drill down some of the basic details on delegates and show you how it is really, really important for us to understand while you work with some other concepts of C Sharp, like anonymous methods and Lambda expressions, something like that. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 22, since this part is gonna be a complete continuation of that part. So let's get started. Delegates. Well, a delegate is a type that safely encapsulates a method, similar to a function pointer in C and C++. And unlike C function pointers, delegates are object-oriented, type-safe, and secure. And the type of the delegate is defined by the name of the delegate. So basically, while you create or declare and delegate, you can call the delegate using its name or otherwise called as named instance of the delegate. And as I said in the introduction, there is something called as delegate passing as a parameter to another method. So we can use that as well. So you can see the delegate is something which is going to be like a method, but you can use that delegate type to be passed as a parameter to another method. And again, I'm not really gonna to touch in this particular point for now, at least, because our scope is gonna be much basic than compared to the advanced one, like multicast delegate and something like that. So the delegate declaration in C Sharp is gonna look something like this. It is gonna have a delegate keyword, and there is a void that is nothing but the written type, and there is a printer, which is the declaration name of the delegate. And then it is gonna accept a string print value. So this is just a declaration, like how you declare a variable or a class, something like that. And then the real implementation is actually gonna sit in the third screenshot, which is the print static void print value. And there is a string print value and there is a console.write line of the value which you're gonna pass in. But again, it is not a hard and fast rule, or this is a rule where you have to have only one method like print value, which is gonna match the parameter value. No, it's nothing like that. I just created this intentionally, but you can have any name for the uh, method and you can just hook in into the second screenshot. You can see there, it's something like printer p is equal to print value. So here, the print value is the method the third screenshot, this one. So this is what is actually being called in here for the delegate. And then we are passing in the value like from delegates. So you can see that we have declared a delegate like printer, and then we are doing a real implementation in here. And then we're just calling in the method, something like a variable or a literal, and then we are passing in the value for the print value using the instance variable of the printer itself. It is something like a hooking way of mechanism, something like an interface. If you remember in our previous videos while we were working with the iWeb driver drivers, we called a new Firefox driver. And also I said like iWeb driver drivers called a new Chrome driver and Internet Explorer driver and Safari driver. Right, So the implementations of each driver is gonna change, but it should be of type IWeb driver. It is pretty much like that. You can see that the printer P is equal to print value, but in future, let's say you have something like print some other value, but the signature of the parameters, which is nothing but the parameters of the print value should always match with what you have declared in the uh, delegates. And again, if it doesn't really make any sense, we'll actually see this in demo. All right, so why do we really require this delegate in first place? Well, the reason for delegate is this. A delegate object is normally constructed by providing the name of the method the delegate will wrap or with an anonymous method. Once delegate is instantiated, a method call made to the delegate will be passed by the delegate to that method. So the parameters passed to the delegate by the callers are passed to the method and the return values. So if any from the method is returned to the caller by the delegate, this is known as invoking the delegate, as we saw in our previous screenshot. All right, let's quickly see whatever we discussed in this slide in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio. 
All right, so this is the same project which we are working so far in our course. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm not really gonna work with the generic collection or custom class, something like that. So I'm gonna completely come on this particular piece of code or maybe what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to create a folder and then let's call this as uh, delegates. So maybe it makes more sense. So, and within this delegates, I'm actually gonna add a, a class and let's call this as delegate so this class is going to be fully dedicated for the delegate uh, whatever we're going to work with all right so the first thing which i said for working with the delegate is the declaration of the delegate so i'm going to start declaring the uh, delegates here so for doing that it is very very simple all you have to do is the keyword delegate and then the return type if you have any for that particular method and then the method itself so i'm just going to create a method called a print uh, printer and then the parameter is going to be print value and the concrete implementation of the print value uh, is going to sit something like this so i'm going to create a method something like public or static void and uh, maybe i'm going to call this as uh, print value or something like that and then i'm going to pass a parameter like uh, values and I'm going to write console.write line and it is going to print a value. So this time I'm going to use the C sharp 6 feature, which is the dollar uh, double quotes, and uh, so that I, it can uh, do some magics, which you can see very quickly here. So the value is, uh, and then you can just use a braces there. You can see that it is still legal and you can just pass the values, something like that. So it is. A much easier and a shorthand way of uh, printing a value like concatenation it is much easier so you can use this for uh, printing a value instead of just doing a concatenation by plus symbol there right all right so that's good and now the declaration uh, the implementation of the method which is nothing but the print value is done and now we have to actually call this particular uh, delegate itself so how to call this? Well, basically it is very, very easy. All you have to do is printer. We can see it is actually a delegate wide C sharp delegate printer, right? And then I'm gonna say printer P is equal to, now you have to give a method which matches the signature of this particular type, which is printer of string print value. So the print value method, this guy, actually matches that so i can hook this guy print value something like this right which is matching and then i can also call this particular method once again uh, this is under a class we cannot directly call this for now so instead of doing uh, this particular way what i can do is i can cut this code and i can take this to the program.cs file what i can do is like i can just call in here so I'm gonna comment these course which I'm not really gonna use anymore so yeah, I'm gonna say delegate examples and here uh, I'm just gonna put this printer P is equal to print value and again uh, the printer is gonna sit in here and the print value is also not going to be visible because this is sitting in a different class altogether so maybe i can directly go to the delegate try all right and so this is delegate try dot print value right this works and now i can just pass the parameter so the value is going to be execute automation something like that any value it is actually and now if i run this particular piece of code you can see that it is actually going to print the value that we were expecting the values execute automation right so you can see the delegate is actually working by just doing this way so you're actually calling or hooking a method which matches the signature of the printer itself that's called delegate so basically it's not the real method but you're going to use the function pointer and now you can have one more uh, method maybe i can just create and show you what it actually mean so i'm going to say print value one it's going to match the same signature and now if i use this print value one and the value is from uh, print value one something like that and now if i print this 
the value is from print value one in zero animation just prints fine but let's say if the signature is different uh, let's say it is going to be uh, this and string or maybe something like int uh, salary we'll save it and now you can see that this is going to throw us an error and it says that no ordered method print value one matches the delegate printer right that's what i was, I was saying it has to match with the signature of the delegate itself right so this is how you can work with delegates but in our slide we are talking about something like anonymous method right that's exactly what we're going to discuss in our next video so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day